finished already. Look at me. Look at me. You know you're done. You are. Ali. Ali. And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life. You are Ali. الزنا لا يحرم لو واحد زنى بامرأة وحملت منه يقول لك إن هذا الماء غير محرم يعني إيه غير محرم يعني دي مش بنته يعني إيه برضو مش فاهم يا عم الشيخ يعني هل يجوز له نكاحها قال لك أيه جوزها عاد دي بنته قال لك مين اللي قال بنته هي لا بنته لا شرعا ولا شيء ما مش بنته لن تنسب له أصلا ولما واحد يزني بواحدة ويخلف منها بنت فكتب باسمه باسم الزاني لا أبدا أبدا يبقى مش بنته يعني قتل المرتد مو عشان يصير مسلم المرتد مرتكب لجرم مثل الزاني الزاني إذا كان محصنا يرجم إذا كان غير محصن يجلد السارق إذا اجتمعت شروط قطع اليد قطعت يده القاتل يقتل فهذه عقوبات هذه عقوبات لهؤلاء على العمل الذي قاموا به ومنها المرتد إذا ارتد يقتل إذا تاب من الردة يترك إن هو يعاقب على هذا الفعل إن فيه استهتار بهذا الدين فيعاقب على هذا العمل كما لو سب الرسول أو سب الله جل وعلا أو كذا فإنه يقتل لهذا الفعل وليس لأجل أن نغصبه على الإسلام الإسلام يعني لا يحتاج ولا يريد يعني مرتزقة يعني صير مسلم ولا ذبحناك ولا لا لا ما نريد مرتزقة الكف أول شيء السبي لا يكون إلا الكفار لا يجوز سبي مؤمن يعني لا يجوز يكون قتال بين مسلمين مثلا لأي سبب من الأسباب الفتن التي تحدث يكون قتال بين المسلمين لا يجوز السبي أبدا السبي لا يكون إلا الكافر لا يسبى المسلم أبدا وإنما يسبى الكافر وأنا أرجو أن الإنسان لا يخجل من دينه ويقول لا هذا قبل والإسلام لا يدعو إلى هذا لا كن, كن قويا في دينك أظهر دينك نعم هذا ديني نعم الذي لا يرضى أن يعبد الله تبارك وتعالى فإنه يستعبد أو يدفع الجزية أو يدخل في الإسلام أو يقاتل هذه الأحوال الأربعة أبدا لا يوجد حال خامس أول ما يدعى الإنسان يدعى الإسلام يقول لا أعبد, أعبد الله تبارك وتعالى الله خلقك لتعبده فإذا قال لا أريد أن أعبد الله تبارك نقول تعيش في أرض الله ولا تعبده ادفع الجزية نقول ولن أدفع الجزية فإذا رفض أن يعبد الله ورفض أن يدفع الجزية نقول له إذا ما لنا معك إلا القتال فنقاتله لأجل هذا فإن قتلناه فهو في النار وإن أسرناه فهو من السبي يصير عبدا رغما عنه لما رفض أن يكون عبدا مكرما باختياره فسيكون عبدا حقيرا بدون اختياره هكذا هو الأمر بالنسبة للذين لا يعبدون الله تبارك وهؤلاء يعني لا تشفقوا عليهم هؤلاء كفار هؤلاء يرفضون أن يعبدوا الله تبارك وتعالى يرفضون أمر الله جل وعلا يعادون الله يسبون الله جل وعلا فالإنسان لا تأخذه الشفقة على أعداء الله على ناس هم معتدون And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life Nothing boy, you're finished already, look at me Look at me, you know you're done You are Ali Ali Wallahi, every single land, every single country, Wallahi, with all their governments and all their military force and all their might and all their science and all their money and all their know-how, all with the exception of none, every country, every tree, every grain of sand, every mountain, every river, every ocean, 
Every ocean, wallahi, every star, every sun, every moon, every single planet, every single angel, the billions and billions and billions of angels, all of them, with the exception of none, Mikael, Jibrail, Israfil, all the first heaven, the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth heaven, the fifth heaven, the sixth heaven, the seventh heaven, the ocean above it, the eight that carry the flag of Allah, the hearts of Allah, all are dead, all are dead. Hello, welcome everybody. How are you? God bless you. Thank you for joining in. Did you take out your umbrellas, guys? I, I know, uh, you know, the screen, your screen got wet. So I hope you had a good umbrella, you know, uh, from the Spitting Cobra, a.k.a. Mimi Hijab. That's his new nickname, the Spitting Cobra. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining in. God bless you. God bless you, families. Welcome our admins, Abdul Halik, Tippy Bear. Keep them in your prayers, guys. Phil Herrera, our great brother in Christ. Uh, Caroline Feenhausen, Potter, Ratna Asmir, Daniel, Carolina, Filter Shift, Cloudy Kaba, my dear friend from Discord, CW, Nancy, we are blessed, PG Coffee, Shelly, Zul Kornain Iskandar jumps over, Cornel, Sheen, Sheen Guide, Oshan Guide, Born to life, Rana Hanna. Welcome, Rana Hanna. You're, you're an Arabic speaking Christian or a senior, right? G E Frenzy, Mr. Football News. Everybody, if I um, forgot to mention your name, forgive me. God bless you. I love you too. God bless everyone. As you saw, guys, we played a video. We played a video for you that we uploaded yesterday. And I thought, hey, let's do it again as an introduction. <laughs> I really hope that you did not get wet from all that spitting, man. By the way, uh, Mr. Rory, the Swagger Husky, thank you for your donation. God bless you. God bless your families. Um, Rory says, and I quote, quote unquote, Rob Christian, I don't believe Muhammad existed. Well, my friend, that's a uh, topic uh, that... Uh, is actually a difficult topic to discuss about because uh, the opinions are um, do, do not agree with one another. Some people say Muhammad did not exist. Uh, it was an invention by Caliph Abdel Malik, right? When Caliph Abdel Malik came into power and he uh, started to build the new Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem, uh, he's the one who invented uh, the name Muhammad. Well. Could be true, but uh, some other people uh, disagree with that. So, uh, it's it's a it's a topic that we can talk about later in a Lord willingly in a new live show in a future live show. But there are some coins that we find. We found some coins, guys, uh, where Muhammad is his uh, you know his name and his. Uh, his picture are on the coin, but uh, there's also a cross. There's a cross. So, <laughs> big chance that Muhammad could be even a Christian. <laughs> Muhammad was an Aramaic speaking Christian. So, you know, it is what it is, guys. Too many uh, evidence, historical evidence that uh, is against today's version of Islam basically so guys the today's topic is did Muhammad contradict himself before we start guys please pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior so we can be guided through today's live show pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Lord please bless our audience and give us all the courage and wisdom today to overcome lies, taqiyya, and deception. Enfold us in your arms, Lord. Fill us all with your Holy Spirit. 
that we might reflect your light within this dark world and that we speak your word with boldness or without any shame and draw others to your feet, Lord. Jesus, please loosen my tongue today to speak the truth to our audience without any error, error or falsehood. Holy God, give us the courage to do whatever needs to be done. We ask this through your beloved and holy Son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Like we said today, guys, on this live show, we will have the opportunity to do another live show and investigate if Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam, if he contradicted himself or not. Last but not least, when I finish my teaching, we will have a nice Q&A session with our guests in the live chat, like always. Hopefully, we will have also uh, Muslims who will call us. Maybe an Ustaz, maybe you are lucky today with an Ustaz or uh, a Sheikh. Ya Fadilat, a Sheikh! We will have an honorable Sheikh who might call us on our live show today. My Skype is open, guys. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. The Rob Christian. So if you're a Muslim and you think you have the courage and the knowledge, you can call us on our live show. My Skype is open, guys. My Skype is open. If uh, Muslims won't call today, guys, maybe we will allow Christians in, after the teaching. So after the teaching, we will allow Christians to call us live to share their opinions about today's teaching. So if you're a Christian, you need to wait. If you're a Muslim, you can call me during the teaching. OK, so that's the rules of today. So, guys, let us start today's live show. As you saw, guys, Mr. Muhammad Hijab, the spitting cobra, uh, was spitting his poison. And I hope you took your umbrellas out uh, and you protected yourself from his spitting. Muhammad Niqab, uh, why, why do I call him Muhammad Niqab, guys? Because when he debated CP, CP destroyed him and he, re he removed the hijab and he put the niqab on Muhammad Hijab, right? He removed his hijab and he put the niqab on Muhammad Hijab. Muhammad Hijab, guys, said, and I quote, quote unquote, for 4,000 years, yes, that's what he said, for 4,000 years, no Jew associated other gods with their God. Are you sure, Mimi Hijab? Yes, brother. Brother, are you sure? Yes, brother. I just said it. It's on the screen, man. What's wrong with you, Rob Christian? Okay, okay. Well, Mr. Muhammad Hijab, you just called your prophet and your fake moon idol, Allah, liars. Because if we go to Quran chapter 9, ayah 30, Surah at tawbah ayah 30, it says the following. Let me drink some, some water, guys. Uh, it says, the Jews say, all the Jews, the Jews say, Ozeir, there's nothing called Ezra, guys. We, there's only called a guy called Ozeir. So Ozeir is Allah's son. Wait a second. What did Mimi Hijab say? For 4,000 years, no Jew associated other gods with their God. <laughs> guys, take your umbrella out. That's what Mimi Hijab would have said. So yeah, <clears throat> you just called Muhammad and Allah liars, uh, Mr. Mimi Hijab. Are there any Muslim? Is there any Muslim who still uh, is subscribed to this potato, his uh, YouTube channel? Is there any Muslim who's still following this Abdul? Because this Abdul clearly is not a Muslim. Mr. Mimi Hijab, you're not even a Muslim. You just called Allah and Muhammad liars. You just insulted your own prophet, Mr. Mimi Hijab. Wow. Wow, brother. Wow. Why did you just insult your prophet, man? Because your prophet in his fabricated Quran said, the Jews say, Hosea is Allah's son. And if we scroll down, it says, may Allah ruin them. 
How do they turn away from the truth? So even Allah, Allah in the Quran is saying to Allah, Allah is saying to Allah, what? Brother, what did you say brother? Yes, when you ask Muslims, is the Quran the speech of Allah? They say yes. So this is Allah speaking. So Allah is saying, guys, Allah is saying to his Allah, may Allah ruin them. Who? The Jews. How do they turn away from the truth? So Mr. Uh, Mimi Hijab, you're out of Islam. <laughs> Congratulations, uh, Mimi Hijab. Congratulations. And Mr. Uh, Ali Dawa, I mean Ali Christian said, we do tasbih more than you Christians for Jesus. Right? Glorification, tasbih. We glorify Jesus more than you Christians do. So both Mimi Hijab and his nurse Ali Christian are out of Islam. Yeah. You see it? I mean, uh, wow, Muhammad Hijab. Thank you for telling us that Muhammad is a liar. Thank you. Anyway, anyway, let us continue. If we go to the hadith, guys, if we go to Sahih Muslim, speaking from Kaif Hira, Sahih, 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 Muslim, hadith number 2669a, let me give you the link. Brada, let me give you the link. It says the following. Abu Sa'ad al-Qudri reported Allah's messenger saying, so Muhammad is the one talking here, you would thread the same path as was trodden by those before you, inch by inch and step by step, so much that if they had entered into the hole of the lizard, you would follow them in this also. We said Allah's messenger, brother, so the Muslims are saying to Muhammad or asking Muhammad, Brother, do you mean Jews and Christians by your words? So that's what they are asking, right? So they are asking their prophet, the Sahaba are asking the prophet, do you mean the Jews and the Christians? Those before you? He said, who else than those two religious groups? Muhammad is saying, right? That's what Muhammad is saying. So you basically copy the Jews and the Christians. Don't copy the Jews and the Christians. Don't do what they do. Did you catch it, guys? Don't do what Jews and Christians do. Did you catch it? That's what Muhammad is saying. Don't follow the Jews and the Christians. Don't copy them. Don't do what they do. Right? Suhail, Rahman, my Skype ID is open. My Skype ID is zero Christian. Call me. Are you man enough to call me Suhail Rahman? Do we have any Muslim? Call me, I'm live. Call me on my Skype. Look, my Skype is open. Call me on Skype. I challenge you for a debate, uh, Muslim. Do you accept? If you call yourself a man, call me right here, right now. We are live. Let's do this. Let's do this. Are you ready? <laughs> so Muhammad guys, let me continue. This guy is a coward. So Muhammad said, don't copy the Jews and the Christians. Basically, don't follow what they do. Don't do what they do. And if we go to Sunan Ibn Majah, if we go to Sunan Ibn Majah, Hadith number 2830, this is a good Hadith accepted hadith it says it says I asked the messenger of Allah about the food of the Christians and look Muhammad his responses do not have any doubt about food thereby following the ways of the Christians in that so Wait a second, Muhammad, 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 you said don't follow what the Jews and the Christians do. Don't copy them. Don't follow them. But in this hadith, Muhammad contradicts himself and says, it's okay, man, eat the food of Jews, of Christians, sorry, of Christians. You, it's okay to eat the food of Christians. That's a nice contradiction.
That's a nice contradiction, brother. What are you going to do with this, brother? Your prophet said, don't follow what the Jews and the Christians do. They are lost. Don't do what they do. Step, don't even, uh, you know, they don't follow them inch by inch, step by step. Don't do what they do, man. They are lost. They are in the hole. They are lost people. So why are you telling your Sahaba, your companions, to eat food of people who are lost? Because you said, don't follow them. Don't do what they do. Here we have a nice contradiction, brother. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. That's a nice contradiction, brother. What did we told you today? Did Muhammad contradict himself? Yes, brother. He did. Uh, Rory, Muhammad stole everything left and right. We are just giving you some examples. Many examples. Muhammad stole the rituals of the Sabians, right? Because the Sabians were the ones who were going around the Kaaba, right? They used to go around the Kaaba doing tawaf, right? So it was a pagan practice before Islam. The Sabians, the pagans of Quraysh used to kiss the black stone. Muhammad did that too. Uh-oh. So yeah, no. The pagans used to do run from Safa and Marwa. Muhammad started to implement that in Islam too. So all the pagan practice, all the Jewish rituals and practices, Muhammad copy-paste them in Islam. So Islam is nothing but a collection of copy-paste rituals from here, from there, you know, all kind of different actions from pagans and Jews and Christians. As you see. Now guys, if we go to chapter 5 of the Quran. Chapter 5 of the Quran. Surat Al-Ma'idah. Ayah 5 it says. This day are all good things made lawful for you. The food of those who have received the scripture is lawful for you. Did you catch it? Chapter 5, Ayah 5. Let me give you the link. Because this is a very important ayah. Guys. So it says, the food of those who have received the scripture, the Jews and the Christians, is lawful for you, Muslims. So you can eat our food, according to this ayah. But Abdul, Ya Abdul, son of Abdul, Ya Abdul, son of Abdul, the Jews don't eat pork, but the Christians, they eat pork. Zakir Naik, brother, pork is prohibited. Pork is haram, brother. Pork is haram, but the Jews, they, they don't eat pork, but the Christians eat pork, uh, brother. Brother, the Quran says you, it's halal, it's lawful for you to eat food of Christians. But Christians, they eat pork, they eat ham, brother. Uh oh, so I, I, we can conclude guys that Muhammad when he fabricated this ayah in the Quran in his yellow pages as Christian Prince call, call it the yellow pages of Muhammad when he said it's okay to eat the food of Christians it's lawful for you to eat the food of Christians I think he forgot about that Christians they eat pork that's a nice contradiction, brother. Brother, this is a contradiction, brother. Zakir Naik. Yes, brother. I think we have found a contradiction. Okay, brother. No problem, brother. It's okay. Too bad we don't have Christian Prince to call Zakir Naik. Guys. I can do, do the voice, man. I, I can do the voice of Zakir Naik. Don't ask me to do the voice of Zakir Naik. Right? So here, Muhammad busted himself in the Quran because he forgot about that Christians eat pork. So how did pork suddenly became halal in Islam? 
How did pork became lawful? I mean, Muhammad, Prophet of Islam. You cannot have a cake and eat it too. You cannot say food of the Christians in chapter 5, ayah 5, that the food of Christians is lawful for you Muslims, but you forgot about the pork eating Christians, man. All Christians are allowed to eat pork. Brother, Brother, we found a contradiction, brother. Yes, brother. Guys, I want to share something with you. Uh, it's, it's disturbing. I want to share a disturbing news flash with you. If you have a weak stomach, guys, if you have a weak stomach, um, listen, but don't watch. Okay? I want to share a Twitter, Twitter feed that I found if you have a bad stomach listen but don't watch i found this thread guys on twitter a 13 year old girl cries outside prison where her dad is sentenced to death for converting to christianity what yes a Muslim left Islam and he converted into Christianity. He converted to Christianity and now he's in prison because he became a Christian. A Muslim became a Christian in Iran. And the girl says, his daughter says, God help me. I haven't seen my dad in four years. Oh God. So she's a Christian now. Oh God, let me see him. I can't live without him. Don't kill my dad. Kill me instead. Wow. Heartbreaking, man. Heartbreaking. So the girl wants to die instead of her father. Let me play the video, guys. Like I said, if you have a bad stomach, please don't watch it. Okay? It's really, it's really painful. It's Heartbreaking. Let me play the video, guys. She's asking to God, man. Guys, oh. Heartbreak, heartbreaking, really. I have tears in my eyes. God. How can this be a religion of God, man? How can this be a religion of God? How can you call Islam a religion of God? Look at this poor girl. Only because her father converted to Christianity, he became an ex-Muslim, an apostate. You're going to do this? Muslim. I really have tears in my eyes, but, but you know. This is, this is the real face of Islam, guys. Any Muslim? Is there any Muslim? Look at this, man. Look at this. Try not to be angry, guys. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Sorry, guys, to break your heart in this, uh, in this morning. Well, this is Islam, guys. What can we do? This is Islam. This is the real face of Islam. Look at this young girl, man. She says, I want to die instead of my father. Release my father. I want to die. I want to die instead. Man, heartbreaking. Imagine if this is your daughter. And you are the one in jail. Muslim. I'm really, uh, I have no words.
Yes, I have the link. You want to link? Let me give you the link. Devastating, man. Heartbreaking, man. Do you, do you Muslims have any heart? Do you have hearts? Muslims, do you have hearts? For doing this. To a dad who found the truth and he converted to Christianity. Now his daughter is living on the streets. Because you jailed her father because he became a Christian in Iran. Do you Muslims have any heart? <clears throat> anyway. Guys, uh, drink something. I know it, it was heartbreaking. Drink something and let us continue. I know, guys. I know. I know, I know. It's, uh, it's still morning. In some parts of the world, you maybe you just woke up, you had your breakfast like I did. But yeah. The destroyer, did you did you see what just happened? The destroyer. Yeah, yeah, Ali Mirza. Do you have any heart in your heart? No, you don't. Because you're following an evil cult that teaches you to kill apostates. To kill apostates. You, f you call this a religion? Anyway. Guys. <clears throat> the w one million dollar questions. Let us continue, guys. It is what it is. We have to deal with this sick man-made cult. This evil death cult. This evil sex cult. So let us continue to the next, next topic. The topic is now, can Muslims... Can Muslims marry Christian women? Anyone in the chat? Muslims in the chat? The destroyer? Yeah, yeah donkey, yeah, potato. Answer my question. The destroyer. Are you allowed as a Muslim to marry a Christian lady? Yes or no? Muslims in the chat. The destroyer is Abdul. He says, yes, I can marry a Christian woman. That's what he said, right, guys? You caught it, right? Look, look up this Abdul. Thank you for saying yes, the destroyer. Let me copy what you said. Guys, he said yes, right? He, the Abdul, look, he said yes. Let me post it again. The Abdul said yes. Boy, oh boy, we are going to spank you. And we're going to spank your prophet. Because we are going to show you the contradiction. Because you are the one who said yes. But before we go there, let us see what the sheikh, what the sheikh of islamqna.info is going to say about it. So if you are sincere, if you are sincere, you're going to leave Islam now. Because you Muslims say there is no contradiction. In Quran, there's no contradiction in Quran. If we can show you the contradiction, that means Allah is dead. Allah does not exist. And Muhammad is a fake prophet. Right, guys? Guys in the chat, are you with me? If we can see one contradiction, if we can show you one contradiction in the Quran, just one, that means Allah is a dead idol. Allah does not exist. And Muhammad is a fake prophet. Right? Give me one if you agree. Because God cannot contradict himself. Right, guys? God cannot contradict himself. Muslims will agree. Allah cannot contradict himself. Well, let me show you the contradiction. So in Abdul, guys, the Abdul on this website is asking the question about if he can marry a Christian woman. Right? And the Sheikh, this PhD Sheikh from Al-Azhar, Sheikh Muhammad Salih al munaj this Fadilat al-Shaykh, this honorable Shaykh is going to answer the question in his fatwa number 20227. Do you see it? This is the fatwa number. Right? So the question is, I like one girl and we want to get married in the future. My parents are fully agreed with my decision. So are parents. Everything is going all right. The problem I am encountered with is she is a Christian, says the Abdul. She's a Christian. Well, this, this 
so-called Christian lady truly does not know her Bible, else she would never ever marry a Muslim. Man, let it go. So this is the look at this question. Okay, so he's asking the Sheikh on this website. And the Sheikh is going to answer, right? The Sheikh is going to answer. Thank you for your um, donations, guys. God bless you. God bless your families. The answer is here from the Sheikh. Who is the Sheikh's name? Who is the Sheikh? Sheikh Muhammad Salah al Munajid. Salafi Sunni Sheikh. Huh? Now he's going to answer. He says, Alhamdulillah. Praise to Allah. Allah, who? Allah has permitted us to marry Jewish and Christian women. Okay, so the Sheikh, guys, it says it's okay. Allah said it in the Quran. Allah said it in the Quran. All right, guys, we're going to show you that this Sheikh is a munafiq. He does not know his own Quran. This Sheikh does not know his own Quran. Mr. Destroyer in the chat, you agreed, you said yes, it's allowed to marry a Christian woman. Let me show you from the Quran that Muhammad in the Quran, when he was fabricating ayahs in his yellow pages, he made a huge contradiction and he busted himself. Let us go to the Quran, guys. Guys, take your pens out. Take your pens out. You have to take notes. Take notes, Christians. Learn how you can expose Muhammad and show the Muslims the contradictions. So this is chapter 5, guys. Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter 5, ayah 5. If we scroll down, in ayah 5 it says, It says, uh, Let's see. So here it's talking about the food, right? We showed you about the food and we sh <laughs> that Muslims can eat the food of Christians, but Christians eat pork. So that's a nice contradiction. If we continue, it says, and so are the virtuous women of the believers and the virtuous women of those who receive the scripture before you, when you give them their marriage portions and live with them in honor. So according to this ayah, guys, it's halal, it's permissible to marry women from the scripture who receive the scripture. Who are those? People of the book, right? The Jews and the Christians. So it's permissible according to this ayah to marry the women of Jews and Christians. But Muhammad, you cannot have a cake and eat it too because in different ayahs, you're saying something else. Look guys, chapter 2. Ayah 221. Take notes. Let me give you the link first. The first link. And let me show you the contradiction in the next verse. Chapter 2, Ayah 221. It says, Do not marry mushrik women unless they believe. What? What? Here you say it's okay to marry Christian and Jewish women. But here it says, do not marry mushrik women. When we ask Muslims, Muslims, are we mushrikeen? Are we mushrikun? You will say, yes, you associate someone else with Allah, especially the Christians. A mushrik is someone who associates someone else, a partner with Allah, in this case, Jesus, let's say. We call Jesus the son of God. So that's shirk, Viki associating partners with Allah. So we showed you here in this ayah, chapter 5, ayah 5, it says it's okay to marry women from the Jews and the Christians. Jewish women and Christian women. But here it says, do not marry mushrik women unless they believe. Bam! Contradiction again. Contra Diction in the Quran. Bam! Brother! Yes, brother. This is another contradiction, brother. Yes, brother. God bless you guys who just joined in. Today's topic is 
Did Muhammad contradict himself? Boy, oh boy, we just proved to you this, this Shaykh, Shaykh Muhammad Salih al Munajjid, and all the Muslims who think that they are allowed to marry Christian women. Brother, we just found another contradiction, brother. Uh oh. Bam! Suhail, call me. I challenge you to refute me. Yeah, Suhail, Rahman. Call me on my live show. Right here, right now. My Skype is open. Look. My Skype ID is Dear Rob Christian. I challenge you to call me and refute me on this topic. What about that? Yalla, 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 Abdul, yalla. Yalla, Abdul. If you call yourself a man, call me. I challenge you to refute me. You see, guys, the contradiction? Brother? Brother? Yes, contradiction, brother. So, the question is, guys, the question is, can Muslims marry Christian women? We just showed you from two different ayahs, this ayah contradicts this ayah, chapter 5, ayah 5 contradicts ayah 20, 221 from chapter 2. Let me give you the link. Brother? Yes, brother. If we go to another chapter, ayah 9, chapter, sorry, chapter 9, ayah 30 from Surah at Tawbah, the chapter of the sword, the Jews say, Uzair, what? Uzair is Allah's son. And the Christians say, the Messiah is the son of Allah. Are they mushrikeen? Yes, do not marry mushrik women unless they believe. But ya Abdul, son of Abdul, ya Muhammad, ya Munafiq, you prophet of Islam, you Munafiq, you hypocrite. Why are you saying in your Quran, it's okay to marry women of the scripture, book of women of Ahlul Kitab? The Jews and the Christians. But your Quran is calling. The Quran is calling the Jews and the Christians. Mushrikeen for associating Uzair. The Jews are associating Uzair with Allah. And the Christians. They say they associate the Messiah with Allah. These are merely verbal assertions in the imitation of the saying of those unbelievers who preceded them. May Allah, Allah is saying, may Allah ruin them. Allah is talking to another Allah saying, may Allah ruin them. How they, do they turn away from the truth? Did you see it? So another contradiction. So this chapter, chapter 5, ayah 5 contradicts chapter 2, ayah 221. And it contradicts chapter 9, ayah 30. Not only that, if we continue, chapter 1, 09, it says, Say, O unbelievers, Ya kafirun, Al kafiruna, I do not worship those that you worship. Neither do I worship him who I worship. No, neither do you worship him that I worship, nor will I worship those whom you have worshipped, nor are you going to worship him who am I worship? To you is your religion and to me, my religion. How many more contradictions do you want, guys? Surah Al-Kafirun. Yeah, Christian Prince wants to change this to make it sound funny, right? I do not eat, if you put it like this, I do not eat what you eat, neither do you eat what I eat, nor will I eat what you eat, nor are you going to eat what I eat. To you is your food and to me is my food. Yeah, this, this chapter is funny, I know. Funny chapter. So guys, this ayah, this ayah, this entire chapter contradicts chapter 5, ayah 5. Did you catch it? So, brother, is this a contradiction or not, brother? Yes, brother, I agree, brother. I'm going to leave Islam now, brother, because 
Christian Prince, you just made me leave Islam, brother. 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 You just showed everybody that Muhammad, when he was fabricating Quranic ayahs, when the Prophet of Islam was fabricating Quranic ayahs, he busted himself and contradicted himself. Bam! Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God because a prophet of God cannot contradict himself. A true God cannot contradict himself in his holy book, so-called holy book. Bam! Thank you for the donations, guys. A <laughs> change to Shahata. Let me throw the Shahata at the Muslims who are still believing in this contradiction. Well, I mean the Quran. Let me throw the Shahata at the Muslims who don't see the contradictions in their Quran. Someone is asking me to read the super chat. All right, let me go to the super chat. Oh, brother, thank you for the donation, my friend. God bless you, Rory. The Swagger Husky asking or saying, don't forget, marriage is a special friendship. And according to Surah 5, Ayah 51, it says, Muslims can't have Jews and Christians, cannot have Jews and Christians as friends. That's another contradiction. Exactly, Rory, exactly. Exactly, my friend. So from the same chapter, guys, chapter 5, we go down to chapter 5, sorry, uh, Ayah 51. Ayah 51, as the brother mentioned in, his, in the super chat. Oh, you believe, taint not the Jews and the Christians for friends. Do you see it? So the Muslims cannot take Jews and Christians for friends. But wait a second, like our brother Rodi just mentioned. How can you marry a Jewish woman or a Christian woman and be friends with her? Because when you marry someone, she's going to be your friend for your entire life until death do us part, right? <laughs> so how are you going to marry a Christian, a Jewish lady, but you cannot be friends with any Jew without any, without, without, <laughs> this, you know, this is, this, is, this, is, this is really funny, guys. Muslims, don't you see the contradictions? Muslims, don't you see the contradictions? Brother, I know, brother, but you know, we are deaf and blind. We are born in this man-made cult. And we close our eyes and ears, brother. We are in denial, brother. Aha, brother. I see. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? Brother? Are you there, brother? Do you have any Muslim? My Skype is open. I mean, come on, call me. My Skype ID is the Europe Christian. It's very easy to find me on Skype. You can install Skype in five minutes. Maybe even under five minutes. So don't tell me you can't install Skype on your phone. I mean, everybody has a smartphone in 2019, right? And that smartphone has a microphone, so you can call me. Right, Muslims? So guys, we just proved to you that all the Muslims, all the Muslims today are in denial. All the Muslims are in denial because your prophet cannot have a cake and eat it too, saying it's okay saying it's okay to marry Jewish and Christian women, but at the same time contradict himself in different ayahs. Do not marry Mushrik women unless they become Muslims. Do you see it? 
I'm here, brother, but I cannot call, brother. I'm a coward, brother. Because I know you're going to spank me, brother. So I rather stay in the chat, brother. Yes, brother. You're in denial, brother. Why are you a Muslim? You always say the Quran of Allah is perfect. But today we spanked the Quran of Allah and the Prophet of Islam. We just showed you a huge contradiction. Abdul, why are you in denial, Abdul? Yeah, you know, talking chat, guys, talking chat is cheap for Muslims. Okay, I'm going to call you on Skype. Okay, call me, I'm waiting. My Skype ID is D Rob Christian. Let's see if this brother is going to call brother. Call me, Abdul, call me. Guys, give me a small break. Let us take a small break. I need some water. My water is... Uh, I, I went through my water. So give me a couple of seconds, okay? Be right back. Now, guys, I'm back. When I was playing that video about that poor girl who was crying in front of the prison, I went through my whole water, man. I kid you not. I drank all the water. We just played a video, guys. <clears throat> brother, I hope it's Zamzam. Yeah, it's Zamzam water, brother. Don't worry, brother. <clears throat> Put music? Why? This is not a club, man. <laughs> Get some Zamzam -zam water. Yeah, this is Zamzam -zam water, man. Look. <sighs> this is the, the water the f from the fountain of youth that Al Khudr found. Same water, brother. I'm immortal, brother. I found the fountain of youth, guys, that Al Khudr drank from. Remember Al Khudr? Uh, you know, this guy, this immortal guy. Take a beer, Rob. Brother. Yalla ya, ya Muslim. Yalla ya Khwan. Call me, man. Yeah, this guy is a troll, man. He's a troll. He will not call me. You want some music? Okay, let me play some music for you guys. I hope you are going to dance. I hope you're going to dance for me. Take out, take out your umbrellas, guys. Make sure to have umbrellas. Nothing, boy. You're finished already. Look at me. Look at me. You know you're done. You are. Ali. Ali. Yeah. <clears throat> that was Muhammad Hijab, brother. That was Muhammad Hijab, brother. The spitting cobra, brother. The snake, yeah. The cobra. The spitting cobra, brother. Demon, yeah. So, guys, guys in the chat. Did you, did you notice the contradictions? Did you see the contradictions, guys? Did you see the contradictions? Did you enjoy the contradictions of uh, Muhammad and his yellow pages? Someone is saying, Rob, Christian, don't forget the girl's father was just following Jesus' command not to deny him before men, so that girl's father, according to the Bible, is in heaven. Well, Rory, uh, I'm not sure if her father was already uh, killed. I'm not sure of that. But yes, this father, this father is a 
huge hero in my eye he's a hero i mean a true christian will die for his faith stephen the first christian martyr died for his faith so and so did many of the apostles brother yes brother so did you enjoy the contradictions guys did you enjoy the contradictions of Muhammad in his yellow pages, aka the Quran, the man made Quran? Guys, if we go to the Quran in chapter 22, ayah 52, Muhammad in his Quran is saying, you know, you know, there's nothing called Allah, it's Muhammad, always Muhammad. In Surah Al-Hajj, Surah Al-Hajj, chapter 22, ayah 52, it says, Never did we send a messenger or a prophet before you, Muhammad. That's Muhammad, right? But that whenever he had a desire, Satan interfered with that desire. So Satan put words in the mouth of every prophet, including Muhammad. So Muhammad knew he was busted when he gave the satanic verses, guys, to the pagan Quraysh, to his own tribe, when he gave them the satanic verses that he got from Satan. So, you know, to do damage control, so Muhammad can do damage control to fix the problem, he said, and he created this ayah, he fabricated this ayah, saying and lying about all the prophets that all the prophets suffered from the same problem satan always interfered with the desire with their desires so satan put satanic words in their mouth in the whose mouth in all the prophet their mouths wow what a claim what a claim muhammad in your yellow pages so then it says Allah was sleeping, Allah was resting at that moment. Allah was sleeping, he did not know what Satan was doing. So Allah, after Satan did damage, right? After Satan did damage, then Allah comes to the aid of Muhammad and he abolish, Allah abolish what Satan did. Did you see it? Wow! And Muhammad needs to contradict the Holy Bible and call all the prophets basically Satan messengers. Because Muhammad was a deliverer of Satan's message to the pagan Quraysh, he lied about all the prophets and said all the prophets were under the control of Satan. Did you catch it, guys? Yes, yeah, Satan is more powerful than Allah in Islam, guys. I kid you not. Because Allah is always sleeping when Satan is doing damage. This is, this is a religion of God or Satan, man? And guys, let me prove to you. Let me prove to you that if we go to chapter 53, if we go to chapter 53, the satanic verses came immediately after ayah 20. So chapter 53 from Surah An-Najm, the satanic verses came immediately after this ayah. So here the satanic verses used to stay. Here, after this sentence, right? Let me prove it to you guys. Let me prove to you that the Muslims removed the satanic verses from the Quran. So the satanic verses were before Ayah 21. Between 20 and Ayah 21. Here, the satanic verses used to stay. Let me prove it to you. If we go to the Tafsir, guys, same chapter, Ayah 22, Sorry, chapter 22, ayah 52. Asbab al nuzul by al Wahidi in his tafsir. By al Wahidi, Asbab al nuzul the reason why, by al Wahidi, the reason why the ayahs come down, by al Wahidi, highly respected tafsir. When Muhammad, guys, it's a very long tafsir for the ayah, but when Muhammad was in Mecca, in pagan Mecca, he was sitting with his own pagan tribe, right? With the Quraysh. Do you see it? So, 
one day one day Muhammad sat with a conquer j uh, con con regations conquer yeah guys I have issues with difficulties with reading this word congregations okay congregations of the Quraysh which attracted a huge number of its members and he wished that Allah so Muhammad wished that Allah does not reveal to him on that day anything guys so Muhammad did did not want Allah to send any ayah down did you catch it that's Muhammad that was Muhammad's wish please Allah don't send me anything that might repel them for from him so then Allah did not listen anyway Allah did not listen and he started to reveal Surat and Najm Allah what did Allah do Allah started to reveal Surat and Najm which 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 one is Surat and Najm guys this one remember chapter 53 ayah all these ayahs that you see here chapter 53 Surat and Najm the messenger of Allah, Allah is praying on him. There's nothing called bless him. Allah is praying on the prophet, recited the surah. Which surah? This surah, this chapter. But when he reached, so when Muhammad reached, have you thought upon Allah, Al Uzza, Al Manad, the third, the other? So when he, when he, Ended here, when Muhammad ended here reciting this, guys, pay attention please. Pay attention. When Muhammad finished reciting chapter 53, ayah 19, when he finished here. Sorry, and here, my mistake here, the third, do you see it? When he finished here, what happened next? Guys, pay, please pay attention, this is important. So when Muhammad came here and he finished and he stayed here, then suddenly the devil... What? The devil put on his tongue? Now the devil intervenes. <laughs> the devil is more powerful than Allah. The devil put on his tongue. On whose tongue? On Muhammad's tongue. What he had secretly wished and hoped for and said. So the pro uh, Satan said and gave this to Muhammad. And Muhammad delivered the satanic verses. Tilka al qal'ula. These are the mighty craze, the high Qaraniq. Those are bird idols, the daughters of Allah, and their intercessions of Allah. So this part, guys, that you see highlighted, comes after Ayah 20. So it's between Ayah 20. Take notes, guys, take notes. Between Ayah 20 and Ayah 21, the satanic verses used to stay here. Do you see it? Mashallah, brother. Yes, brother. Satanic verses in Quran, brother. Yes, brother. Yes. Satanic verses in your Quran. Between Ayah 20 and Ayah 21, as the tafsir says. This is not my tafsir. This is your tafsir, Muslim. Deal with it. So, after Ayah 20... Satan intervened. He came between Allah and Muhammad <laughs> and started to deliver the satanic verses to Muhammad. And when Muhammad gave the satanic verses to the pagan Quraysh, when the Quraysh heard this from Muhammad, they were very happy with Muhammad. Oh. Thank you, Muhammad, saying the pagan Quraysh. Thank you for saying very beautiful stuff about our idols. Thank you, O Prophet of Islam. The Messenger of Allah carried on reciting until he finished the surah. So after giving the satanic verses, here after Ayah 20, he continued all the way down and he finished reciting the entire surah. Do you understand, guys? And then prostrated so muhammad bowed down to the idols he did sujood for the idols muhammad bowed down all the muslims bow down guys pay attention focus all the muslims became mushrikeen muhammad became a mushrik he started to worship the idols all the muslims there the sahaba who were there prostrated and did sujood act of worship in front of the idols 
and prostrated, and all the pagans who were there prostrated to BAM! BAM! Muhammad became a nice mushrik, guys. Muhammad started worshipping idols and he gave the satanic verses. And all the Muslims who were in Mecca at that time, who were watching, they did shirk too. BAM! Brother! Brother, yes, brother, your prophet was a nice mushrik, brother. Oof, oof, oof. Yes, Molly the mushrik, yes, as Phil Herrera, our dear admin, is saying. Bam, says TP Bear, in your nose. Yeah. TP Bear is dangerous, man. Look, look at the boxing glove, man. She's dangerous, man. Don't mess with TP Bear, man. TKO. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> yeah. Yes, brother. So you see, guys, how Muslims are in the now? They don't know about this, guys. They don't know about it. If you're a Muslim, if you're a Muslim, and you find the many contradictions that we today spoke about and we showed you how muhammad was a nice mushrik pagan boy and all the muslims who were there together with the pagans they started to worship the idols so if the first generation guys let me sum it up if the first generation of muslims if muhammad himself the prophet of islam and the pagans worship the three bird idols why are you muslims of today still following muhammad why are you still Mohammedans? Ya yeah, Muslimin. Ya yeah, Ikhwan, where are you? Call me, man. Call me, Abdul, call me. My Skype is open, man. Yalla, ya yeah, Ikhwan, yeah, yalla. Brother? Yes, brother. Did you see the contradiction today, brother? Yes, brother. But I'm in denial, brother. I'm in denial, brother. Yes, brother. Zakir Naik. Yes, brother. You said, Zakir Naik, you said pork is haram, brother. But the Quran is saying to eat the meat and the food of Christians. But Christians eat pork. How is it possible to eat the food of the people of the scripture, the Jews and the Christians? Well, Christians, they prepare food like pork. They eat pork. Brother? Well, I don't know, brother. The Quran says so, brother. The Quran says so. Yes, brother. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to call me? Guys, thank you for your donations. Uh, our brother Rory, thank you, my friend, for your donations. God bless you. God bless your family. Muslims, let me quote what the brother is saying. Rob Christian, quote unquote, Rob Christian, Muslims will always use the Bible to justify polygamy, polygamy, meaning a man having more than one wife. But the Bible, like in Proverbs 5, Verses 15 to 21, promote one wife and one husband. Yes, marriage in Christianity, my friend, marriage in Christianity is very holy. When God created Adam and Eve, he didn't create three Adams and three Eves. He created just one Adam and one, one Eve. So marriage, according to the Holy Bible, is sacred. You cannot share the love of a woman and her husband with more than more wives or more husbands. It's sacred. It's a marriage for life. But Islam loves polygamy. Muhammad had dozens and dozens of sex slaves and he had multiple wives. Muhammad had no limitation. Muhammad had more than 11 wives and what about his sex slaves, right? Muhammad had dozens and dozens and dozens of sex slaves. True story, brother. Yes, brother. 
Yeah, Adam had only one wife and Muhammad uh, had many wives and concubines. Yalla ya mukhwan, yalla ya khwan, winkum. My Skype is open. Uh, a Muslim called me, I, there's a Muslim who always call me. He always calls me when I'm offline. This Abdul does not understand that when I'm live to call me. He calls me when I go offline. Can you imagine? Let me try to call him. This is the Abdul here. He stalks me on, uh, on Facebook. He says, I'm going to expose you, okay? Let me see if this guy uh, is going to pick up. Yalla, brada. Brada. Adamu Bakari. Brada. I think... Uh, not sure. Adamu is unavailable. Hmm. Okay. Who is this guy? Let me see who this guy is. He called me. He called me? Did you call me? Who is Umpa Loompa FCB? Are you a Muslim? Is there any Muslim? I'm not sure if this guy is a Muslim, so... Do you have any Muslim? Oompa Loompa, I'm not sure, let me, let me try to call him, I'm not sure if he's a Christian or a Muslim. He called me before I went live. You see, when we are offline, Muslims are heroes, man. When we are offline, Muslims become heroes. But when we are live for many hours, suddenly they all become silent. Fi sabil Allah. Right? For the cause of Allah, they are silent. Uh, S -V -S -W -G -G -S -A -W -S is saying, guys, check... Uh, Farid's channel, Rob Christian and Christian Prince are getting exposed. Call your coward boyfriend Farid, Mr. Farid, call him to call me. Tell him to stop being a coward and let him call me. I mean, talking text is cheap, brada. Yes, it's cheap, brada. Real men, they call us. Brada, Twitter is for cowards, brada. Real men talk, brada. Yes, brother. Be a man. What's wrong with you, Muslims? Are you telling me there are no men left in 2019, 2020? It's almost 2020. You Muslims say Islam is the so-called fastest religion in the world. Are you telling me there are no men left to call us, to refute us? I mean, we have almost 200 people watching. 200 people watching. And we have at least four dislikes. So we have four Muslims watching. At least. What about the Muslims who do not care to give a like or a dislike? Right? I know Muslims are watching. I know. I know, I know that Mimi Hijab watch. I know, guys. Mimi Hijab knows us. I was mentioned, by the way, guys. When um, Muhammad Hijab... Muted Christian Prince, this Amin, one of his boyfriends, he called live after the debate between Christian Prince and Mimi Hijab, and he mentioned me, and he called me uh, the assistant and the demon child of Christian Prince. So these people know about us, guys. They know about me, they know that we are live, so they are watching, guys, they are watching. But they are cowards, they will never call. The Muslim apologist heroes, they are cowards. They are not real men, they are kids. Right, Muslims? We have to deal with kids. Yes, brother. Uh, if, if there's a Christian, guys, if there's a Christian who wants to call me and share 
something with us about today's teaching, feel free to call me if you're a Christian. Uh, allow Christians now to call. Because the Muslims are, it seems that they are cowards. They will not call today. So I will allow Christians to call me. So if you want to call, go ahead. They, they are all potatoes, man. Potato, man. Potato, 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 potato. I like that song, man. And it reminds me of Muslims. You know? Potato, potato, potato. Where is the spitting cobra? Where is he? I know you're watching, man. Call us. Is there any Christian who wants to call? <clears throat> maybe you want to share something with us. Uh, maybe you want to add something to our teaching today, guys. I hope, guys, you took notes. I hope you took notes. You know, I hope uh, Muhammad. Muhammad Niqab, Muhammad Niqab. We remove this hijab and we put the Niqab on his face, right? And he said, for 4,000 years, no Jew associated other gods with their God. Boy, oh boy. Why do you call your own prophet a liar? Why do you call your own moon idol Allah liars? Because chapter 9, as we mentioned today, chapter 9, ayah 30, it says the Jews say, all the Jews say, Uzair is Allah's son. And the Christians say, the Messiah is the son of Allah. These are merely verbal assertions in imitation of the sayings of those unbelievers who preceded them. May Allah ruin them. So you see, your Allah is mentioning that the Jews did say that. So Mr. Mimi Hijab, you're a liar. You just lied about Allah. You lied about your prophet. And you're certainly a fake Muslim, Mr. Mimi Hijab. Why are you calling me and hang up, man? Mr. Umpa Loompa. Let me call this kid. I think it's a waste of time. Let's see. Okay, it's a waste of time. I'm going to block you, Abdul. You're a waste of my time, man. What a shame, man. You see, uh, guys, when we say, when we say that we are only left with Muslim kids, there are no real men anymore in Islam. I mean, you see the proof? The proof is in front of you. The proof is in front of you. There are no real men in Islam anymore. They are all cowards, man. Rob Christian, I'm going to expose you. Rob Christian, you're finished. You're finished, Rob. Yeah, right. Guys, I want to uh, share something with you guys. I want to share something with you. I had a conversation. Are you with me, guys? Are you with me? Give me one of you with me. I had a conversation with a Muslim in the comment section. And I asked him a very sincere question. I asked him, when you Muslims recite the Shahada, right? You recite the Shahada. You say, Ashhadu. That means, I bear witness. I bear witness. Wait a second. Ya Abdul, son of Abdul. When you say, I bear witness, that means you saw, when you recite your Shahada, that means you saw Muhammad, 
with your own eyes, you saw Allah with your own eyes because you say, Ashadu la ilaha illallah wa Muhammad Rasulullah. That, right? That's what you Muslims say. Right? You bear witness that you, that Allah is uh, the only uh, God, Allah is the only God, and Muhammad is his messenger. That's your shahada. But wait a second, Abdul. When you say, I witness or I testify, I witness or I testify, that means you are an eyewitness. So the Shahada, guys, does not make sense. The Shahada does not make sense. Right? Because let's say, guys, guys, if you are sitting in a court as a witness and you have a judge in the court and the judge wants to solve a murder case, he's going to ask for witnesses, right? The judge, are you with me guys? The judge will ask for witnesses, eyewitnesses. Witnesses who saw the murder happen, witnesses who saw or heard the murder happen. So when you say I bear witness or I testify, that means you are testifying under a false oath. You are a fake witness. Exactly, hi Baruch. Perfect. So you, are, you Muslims are fake witnesses because no judge would accept you as a witness. You are a fake witness. You will be put into prison for being a fake witness. You will be punished by a judge for being a fake witness. So your shahada does not make sense at all Muslims. Deal with it. Deal with it. That's a spank. Yeah, exactly. So you see how easy it is guys to spank the shahada? So the guy had no, nothing to say. Funny, huh, guys? You see how easy it is to spank their, their shahada? So the shahada of the Muslims, the shahada of the Muslims is actually a huge lie. Huge lie. They are nothing but lying witnesses. Rob Christian, someone's asking, Rob Christian, do a chat with Ask Islam website on live stream. Um, what's the website? We can do that. What's the website, guys? Can someone tell me what the website is? Ask Muslim what? Ask Muslim or Islam. What is what is the website, guys? We can do that. What's the link? Any? Do the admins have the link? We can do that. No problem, man. What's the link for that website, guys? Askislam.com, is that the one? Askislam.com No, that's, that's not the right one, guys. I need the good link. I get this when I go to Ask Islam. So that's not the right website. No, that's, that's not the right one. I tried askislam.com. It's, it's directing me to askislam.org. So it does not exist. No, that's not the right one, guys. Askislam.org is not the right link. I need the correct link. Let me Google it, else. Ask Islam chat. Chat Islam, is that the one maybe? Askamuslim.com, is that the one? Let's see if this, if maybe this is the right website. Is this the one, guys? I think this is the one maybe, right? Chat to a Muslim now. Is this the one, guys? I hope this is the one. I am uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's 
Star the chat, ok? <laughs> Let me make it bigger for you guys. Ok. How I may help you? Hello. I want to convert to Islam, but I have some questions. Can you help me, brother? <laughs> Let's see if the Abdul will respond. No answer. Brother, oh, brother is typing, brother. Yes, yay. Nice. Guys, let's go. Brother, <laughs> I. Yes. I want to. I have a question about the Shahada, brother. Oh, I, that was a typo, okay. I want to know why Muslims recite the Shahada. What is the meaning of it? Can you explain? Let's see what the brother will answer. Brother. Okay, he's going to answer now. Do you see the dots? That means he's typing. Oh, so he put, he put a nice copy paste. This is a nice copy paste. The cloration of faith, Shahada, is the most basic requirement of being a Muslim is to believe and testify that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. The statement is the foundation for all other beliefs and practice in Islam. So you see guys, it's to testify. So that means you bear witness. Okay. Copy paste again. Abdul, why are you copy? <laughs> you see the copy paste Abdul guys? How I'm going to chat with a copy paste Abdul? You want to read everything? I know, I know. But brother, Copy paste Abdul's man. Sh what a shame, man. Myself a witness. Let's see his answer. Let's see if it's uh, it's going to be another copy paste. If he's going to copy paste, then you know it's a waste of time. Brother, I want to know when I testify or bear witness. How can I bear witness if I did not see Muhammad or Allah to call myself a witness? Sounds legit, right, guys? I have problems to understand that. Brother, the brother is going to answer. It does not mean you believe in them. The testimony is a testimony of belief, not seeing. What? But you, you are calling yourself a witness.
Brother? Yalla brother, answer brother. <laughs> what is <this> term up? <laughs> look, Abdul, look at this Abdul, man. Witness in terms of belief? How? <laughs> brother, answer the question, brother. Don't answer the question, brother. Oh. Let me pick up this. Uh... Yes, brother? Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Welcome. Hello, brother. I'm from India. Hello, bro. Hey, you're from India. Hello. Hi. You're a Muslim, my friend? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you're a Muslim. Uh, Mr. Suhail, uh, you're, you're sitting in the live chat. Can you tell us, uh, yes. we're, since we're talking about the Shahada, when you say the Shahada, when yes. you recite the Shahada, and you say, I bear witness, uh, were, mm -hmm. yes. were you a witness I of Allah. Yeah, Ashadu, yeah. yeah. So you bear witness. Ashadu Allah. Yeah. Okay, continue. Mm -hmm. Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah wa ashadu anna Muhammad an abduhu wa rasul. Okay. But when you say that, my friend, when you say that. Yes, 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 bro. Uh, when you say that, isn't, isn't this a strange thing to say because you why? say why, why, why? why because you say I bear witness that means you're an eyewitness of some of who of Muhammad and Allah that means you saw Allah with your own eyes you heard Allah with your own ears and you no, saw no, Muhammad no, no. with your own eyes and ears because you are claiming to be a witness right bro it's just a belief how, it's just a belief. how, how is it the belief I bear witness how how Sorry, are you what? how are you a witness how are you a witness Oh, uh, I'm witness. How? Uh, Let, let's say this, my friend. Let me be honest with mm. you. I'm going to, mm -hmm. uh, to explain this to you. Let's say mm -hmm. uh, uh, we are, you and me, we are in a court. We are in a court and there's a judge, right? Mm. Mm. You are a witness, I'm a witness. We, we yeah. were walking together uh, on the street and we saw a murder happen. Someone shot someone else dead with a, with a, okay. with a gun. So we, okay. we are asked by the judge and the police to come and testify and bear witness what we saw with, mm -hmm. with our own eyes. That's a real okay. witness. So how, my friend, after I'm explaining it to you, how are you saying I bear witness that there is Allah and Muhammad? How? Did you see Allah? Did you see Muhammad to bear witness, to be a witness? But bro, uh, listen, uh, we have Quran. Okay. So yes. we believe in Quran and what's written in the Quran, everything. So it's in the Quran that there is Allah and there was Muhammad. So we have to believe. How? Okay. How, how? Did you see Allah or did you see Muhammad? How? What do you mean how? We have to believe on Quran. Do you, do you, mean, do you know the meaning of being a witness? Do you, do you know the meaning of witness? Yes, yes, obviously. Okay. Can you explain the meaning of a witness to me? Maybe I, Bro, just maybe I don't understand. Maybe I don't understand. Hello? Yes. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please explain. Uh, just listen. We have Quran. Okay. Okay. So, what's written in the Quran? We have to believe it because because everything in the, uh, sorry seventy percent what's written in the Quran has been proved. Yeah. So the rest about Allah, about uh, about the Jannah, about the hell, and about everything. So okay. uh, it's not proved by uh, it's not proved by science, but. Uh, but uh, seventy percent of the Quran is already proved by science. Okay, and my friend, my friend, my friend. I understand. Good. I understand. You have something called the Quran. I understand. You have something okay. called the Sunnah, right? I understand that. Okay. I I understand that. But you are not answering my question, my friend. My question is: You call yourself a witness of Allah and Muhammad. How do you know that the Quran is from Allah and Muhammad? How can you call yourself? a witness if you did not see Allah you don't you didn't see who wrote the Quran with your own eyes you didn't hear it with your own ears how are you witnessing how are you, how are you a witness of the Quran coming into existence how were you there hello bro uh, are you a Jew no I my name is Rob Christian do you think I'm a Jew so you are Christian actually 
I'm a Trinitarian Christian. What has that to do with my topic? Sorry. What, what, what? Sorry? What has that to do with our topic? Let us go back to the topic. My friend, you say I bear witness. No, no, no. You say I bear witness. No, no. You say I bear witness. Please, please tell me. Please tell me, are you a Christian? Uh, I think, I think, uh, I'm may, maybe, do I sound like a Hindu, guys? My name is Rob Christian. Do you think I'm a Hindu? No, I, I'm just asking you, are you a Christian or not? Uh, maybe, are I, you a Christian maybe, or I'm, not? maybe I'm a Buddhist. I don't know. What do you think? No, just, just tell me yes or no. Of course I'm a Christian. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So what has that to do uh, with my my friend? Please, please. I you are my guest. You are my, listen, listen. You are my guest. You are my guest. Right? You are my guest hmm. on my live show. You called us. Thank you for calling me. I'm asking you a very sincere question. This is a truly sincere question. If I want to become a Muslim and I want to say hmm. the Shahada, don't I need to first understand how can I be a witness of something that I did not see here? I did not hear. How can I be a witness of that? Bro, as I told you earlier, this is the belief. Only the belief. Only. So, so okay. why, why are you using the Shahada then? If it's only a belief. That means the Shahada is false. You are a false witness. You. How it is false? Because you say, I bear witness. That means you have seen it with your own eyes. Don't you understand? No. I'm a, guys, am I speaking English? Maybe I'm not. I'm, my English. Yes, English. yes, I. Okay. It's good, it's good. Enough. Okay, so can you explain how you are an eyewitness? How are you an eyewitness? As I how told do you, you say it's the belief, bro. It's the belief. So it's not, it has nothing to do with being an eyewitness, right? No, no, no. Okay, so, no, yes, yes, so the, exactly. shahada, the shahada is wrong, right? How it's wrong? Uh, because, I'm telling you it's belief. Because you are a false, you are, that means you are a false witness. When you, when you say... I bear witness. That means you've seen witness. Allah, you've seen Quran. Muhammad. It's so you're a false witness. That means the Shahada is false. I'm I the false witness. What do you mean here? Uh, you are a false listen, witness, my friend. Wrong. You know, you know let's, believe, let's exp let me explain. Let me explain. Brother, brother, so brother, 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 so brother, so brother so listen. If you are under an oath of a judge and the judge asks okay. you, are you the eyewitness of that murder that happened on the streets, you were there with yeah. Rob Christian. So hey, you were there walking on the street with Rob Christian. Someone shot mm. a, a, a woman dead with a pistol, with a gun. Mm. You saw it mm. with your own eyes. So the judge will mm. say, did you see it? You'll say either yes or no. If you say yes, that means you're under an oath. But if you didn't okay. see it and you say yes, and, f and when the judge finds out, that you are a lying person, you did not see it with your own eyes, he will going to put you in jail for lying. So back again to the show, when you say I listen, bear listen, witness listen. and you didn't see it, listen, listen. that means you are a false witness. You are lying. You understand? Witness, witness uh, doesn't mean the only the eyewitness. Okay. So uh, how, okay, think, how, uh, how, how is it not? How is it not only an eyewitness? What, can you give me the definition of a witness? Give me the definition of a witness. If we go into the court, okay. Yes. So, if there is, uh, mother. Yes, yes, brother. Yes, brother. Brother, yeah. I, are you there, brother? Uh, Guy, brother, are you going to ask Prophet Google, brother? Yeah, hello, hello. Uh, just a minute, yeah. Okay. Uh, ask Prophet Google and then call me back. Brother. Yes, brother. Prophetgoogle.com, brother. You see, guys, when we ask them about the Shahada, they are in trouble. Let's, let, me, let me go back to that website. Uh, you are... Okay. Witness in term of belief. Then I asked him how. You are being a witness to others that you believe in God. I. How am I <laughs> a witness to others if I did not see Muhammad or Allah? Brother.
brother, I want, I want to know this because brother, I want to become an Abdul brother. I think, what? I think we are going in circles here. I've already explained the above. If you do not like the word witness, then change it. Change it to what? <laughs> brother. I know this is fun. B believe. Witness is believe not. Okay, the, the Abdul is calling me back. Yes, brother. Hello? Yes, hello. Hello? Yeah, hello, hello. Hello, brother. Yeah, brother, hello. Can you hear me, brother? Yes, 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 okay. I can hear you. Okay. Did you Google the answer, brother? Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, okay, explain to me how you are a witness. Go ahead. Hello, brother. Yes. Actually, actually. Yes. If we go to a court, okay. What? What did you say? If we if we go to a court and you 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 told you told the story, uh, someone showed someone, okay. <clears throat> yes. Then it's not only the eyewitnesses. There is anything. Uh, there is another thing which which is called evidence. Okay. Okay. So the evidence is where where do you okay? But where do you get the evidence from? You need you get the evidence from an eyewitness. You get the evidence from something. No, no. The gun. The gun is the evidence, right? The gun is the evidence of a guy who killed. But you, you need eyewitnesses to see that this guy used the gun on that someone. To know that this guy is the murderer so you need eyewitnesses to solve the case right brother to solve the case there are not uh, uh the eyewitnesses are, are not essential okay are not essential there are how? No, how 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 let's say are, let's say let's say my no friend let's say let's say you listen, are listen, you listen, are you are the killer listen, you are the killer listen. no one saw it happen how is the judge going to solve the case with the police how please explain he will solve he will solve how? If uh, if there is if there is any other evidence, how? anything written, how? or anything else, how? okay. What do you mean how? Maybe maybe it was the anything neighbor who wrote the who wrote it down. Maybe written? maybe the neighbor. If, if maybe my neighbor from yesterday wrote it down. You know and say uh, he hates someone. He said there's another neighbor. He says this is the guy who killed him, and he sent the letter to the police. How does the police know that this is an eyewitness? Hmm. Hmm. Yes, hmm, brother. Brother, if there are no eyewitnesses, yes. then you have to believe on witnesses. Okay, you who, have to believe on evidences. If there, okay, if there where, are, how evidence. how do you get the evidence? How do you get the evidence from? How? If how you do don't, you, have, what do you mean? How? If you don't have an eyewitness, how do you know that this is evidence? You have to believe on the evidence, now. Nah? So, if, if so if I say, if I say, Suhail is the murderer. The judge were going to put you in jail for the rest of your life okay. because I said so. Are, because Rob Christian said so, are, you're uh, going to disappear in jail for the rest of your life. What do you mean? Sorry. What do you mean? If I, if I say yes? Suhail, your your name is Suhail, right? I say mm. brother brother Suhail is the murderer. Yes. But mm. I, how 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 prove. is going the judge? You can is the judge going to put you in jail? No, uh, you have to prove it then. Okay, how can I prove it? I don't know. How, how can you prove it? It's your... Okay, okay, go, go. You're, you're, you're in trouble, Abdul. You're in trouble, Abdul. You know, waste of time, man. Uh, witnesses believe now. How? I think you are not genuine with your questions. I've explained above. Oh. So, hey, please don't waste my time, man. Yes, yes. Forget about it. Okay, yes. forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about the Shahada. Can you prove to me that Muhammad is a, is a man of God? Yes, I can prove because it is okay. written in our Quran. <laughs> it's in the, because it's written in the Quran. I mean, maybe I wrote that Quran. 
How you can how you can wrote that code? Well, I can I can now buy a blank blanco blank blank book with okay, empty okay, pages. Okay. I write there was someone called Rob Christian and he's the prophet of Allah. How is that oh, going okay. to change anything? So so you are a Christian. So how you believe in Jesus? Because Jesus is a historical man. We have so you saw we him. Have, uh, you saw him. We have, you saw him. Listen, listen, Abdul. You are asking me a question. Let me answer. Okay. Okay. You seem like a very respectful uh, person. Let me, you know, answer you in, in a respectful way. If we go outside, forget about the Bible for a split second. If we go outside okay. the Bible, we have many historical accounts that yeah. confirm that there was someone called Jesus. He was killed on the cross. We go to even the enemies of Jesus Christ, right? Yeah. Enemies okay. like like uh, Romans, like uh, Jews who were historians, they wrote, like someone like Je Josephus, or someone yeah. like Tacitus, who wrote, Jesus. they wrote, there was someone called Jesus, there were people called Christians, and they wrote, this Jesus died on the cross. So... Similarly, 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 we have our where, died books. Where? Sayyid Muslim, Sayyid Muslim, Sayyid Bukhari. Okay, okay, Say, Sayyid Bukhari. Did Sahih yeah. Bukhari see Allah with his own eyes? No. Did Sahih Bukhari see the miracles of Allah with his own eyes? No, no, no. So Sahih Bukhari, Imam Bukhari, but is a he... false witness. Do you agree? No. How no? How, how you can prove it? How can I? I just told you there was someone yeah. called Jesus. It's recorded yeah. in outside biblical sources. It's recorded by historians, so by it, enemies it, of Christ, so by enemies of Christians. They wrote in history, there was someone called Jesus. He was being killed on the cross and there were his followers. They were called Christians. Do you understand? Okay, so okay, forget about the Bible. Questions. We have outside two, two, sources heard, who confirm that. I have that. Two, questions, two questions for you. Firstly, who is Jesus? And secondly, my friend, uh, my friend, let's let us go back. Let us go there, back. Is there, is there how can any, you how there... can you be a how, how can you call yourself an eyewitness if you did not see Allah, you didn't see yeah. Muhammad? But and we have you evidence. didn't see the I miracles told, of Allah. I, I told you, I told you. I have, we have evidence. It's written in Quran and what's uh, the evidence many, for Allah? Many other books like uh, Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. Sahih written, Bukhari uh, again. Did Imam Bukhari? Did Imam Bukhari yeah. see Muhammad? Did it's Imam there Bukhari are, see there Allah? There are much more books, brother. There are much more books Ooh. besides that. Ooh. Can you show me? Can you show me the original Sahih Bukhari book? Can you can you give me the original Sahih Bukhari book? Yes. Okay. Where can I find it? I am from any uh, bookstall, Islamic bookstall. Book no, my friend. You don't have the original Quran. You don't have Sahih al Bukhari original. You don't even have the original Hafs Quran. Yes, I hope. No, you don't. Quran. Okay, show me the, the original manuscript of the Uthmanic Quran. Where can I find it? Can you show me? I will give you a thousand dollar. I will give you a thousand dollar if you can show me an original seventh century Uthmanic Quran manuscript. I'll give you a thousand dollar. And my. People who are watching in the live chat, they will add more thousands every time, yeah, thousand more. Million. Hello, brother? Are you there? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Can you show yeah, me yeah, yeah. one original manuscript from the seventh century for the Quran? Uthmanic seventh century yes. original, complete, yes, yes. complete original seventh century Uthmanic Quran from the seventh century. Go ahead. I'm waiting. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Okay. See, the people in the chat are saying, Abdul Halik is saying, I will add $1,000 more. Romano say, I pay $1,000. You see, you will get rich today, man. Okay, okay, bro. Wait a minute. You are going to be a rich brother, brother. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. Why are you laughing, man? Is it funny? I think it's funny. Today's topic, guys, are funny. Hello, brother. Ask Prophet Google, peace be upon him, brother. He will provide. Wow, Jazzy Jibril is really generous. He says, I will add $10,000, brother. Okay, brother. Thank you for the donations, brother. 
By the way, uh, now we are free. Thank you for your donations, my friend. God bless you. God bless your families. Uh, my friend, uh, ask it's Prophet Google it's, and call me back. Call me back. It's in. It's in. Call me back. It's in a museum. It's in which museum, brother? In, in Istanbul, Turkey. No copy palace museum. Uh, my friend. In Istanbul, Turkey. Did you study that manuscript or did you Google it? That's the original Quran. You that's get, that's you Google, the original Quran. Right? Okay. That's let me tell you. Quran. Let me tell you a secret. The top copy manuscript yeah. in Istanbul. It's not yeah. seven, it's not complete. Number one, it's not complete. Number two, it's not from the seventh century. That means it's not Othmanic. Yeah, waste of time. <clears throat> Let me go back. This is a waste of time. I've explained above when you read the Shahada, you bear testimony that there is how? Where is how do you bear witness? How are you a witness, Abdul? Take care. Okay. He kicked me. Guys, he kicked me out. Do you see it? He kicked me out. Waste of time, man. Stop calling me, Abdul. Stop calling me. Don't call me. Ask Prophet Google, peace be upon him more, and then uh, come back with an original manuscript. Waste of time. Man. Is there any... Uh... Guys, should I give him another chance? What do you think? Should I give him another chance? What do you think? Should we give him another chance? Okay. Yes, brother. Don't. Yeah, Hello. brother. Yes, brother. Hello, I, brother. I, I have a question for you. I, I told you b before. What? Who was Jesus? Who was Jesus? My friend, you were you were searching for a manuscript. What has Jesus to do with the Quranic manuscript, brother? No, no. I told you that the uh, Quran in the. Turkey is authentic and all Qurans are authentic. No, no, brother. The top copy manuscript is not complete. How no. you can prove that, bro? Brother, how, how, how you can prove it? Because I did research, brother. Did you do research, brother? And uh, you think that all Islamic uh, scholars uh, did, uh, don't go for any research? And brother, I, I challenge any I scholar. I I ch listen, listen. I challenge any Muslim scholar, any sheikh, any imam to show me and prove to me that the top copy, top copy manuscript is complete, number one, complete manuscript. It's from yeah. the time of Uthman. I challenge you right here and I challenge your Imam. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay? so don't waste my time. You have no clue what you're talking about. Brother. Don't call me, man. Stop calling me. You have a, another Muslim who knows what he's talking about? Uh, please check the video by Yasser Qali, the pitfall of Dawa, white people. I will do later, Musa. Thank you. Yeah, by the way, that same Yasser Qali believes in uh, in zombies. He believes that Hajjuj uh, and Majuj are zombies. Muslims like Yasser Qali, they believe in zombies. They believe that the zombies were put behind a big wall. We never found the wall. I mean, try you out your like Maybe you'll find a wall, and ah, uh, behind that wall, there's a. There are creatures, very very violent creatures, and according to Yasser Qadi, they are zomb zombies. Zombies. Hajuj and Hajuj. Zombie creatures. Yeah, World War Z. Have you seen the movie uh, World War Z? Yeah, zombies. The shirking dead. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I want, I want the seventh century of many Quran that is complete. I want to read that, man. Where is it? Top copy is not. Seventh century, it's not complete. It's actually much later. Okay. The Sana'a manuscript is not complete. It's not complete. It's from the 8th century. Top copy is 8th, 9th century. Much too late and not complete. Uthman wrote his Quran in the 7th century. He gave the command to Zayd ibn Thabit to write 9 copies. Guys, are you with me? 
Uthman, Uthman commanded Zayd ibn Thabit and his team to collect the Quran and write it in the Qurayshi dialect. And there were nine copies made. Uthman ordered that those nine copies, his Uthmanic version, to send it to many different regions, to nine different regions. Are you telling me, Muslims, that all the nine copies are lost? Where are they, guys? Yes, none of them are complete. None of them is 7th century. Bam! Uh, so hey, you know why I'm cutting the call? Because you're googling, my friend. Do research. Do research, my friend. Do research on the manuscripts. If you've done research, call me back again and show me one manuscript that is complete, right? Number one, complete, and that it's Othmanic. So that means from the 7th century. If you can show me, call me back, right? Call me back if you can prove it to me. All right? Do you have any other Muslim? Do you have any Muslim who wants to call us? Yeah, don't do research when I'm live. Do research when uh, in your own time. I don't want to waste time uh, with Prophet Google. I know you're uh, asking Prophet Google, but you know. Don't waste my time, my friend. Do we have an? Uh, do we have any Muslim? Well, Kiko, Kiko Sin, are you talking about the Birmingham manuscript? The Birmingham manuscript is only two pages. Two pages. It's not complete, it's not Uthmanic. Yes, brother. Yes, brother, I, I, I have a question for you, brother. Why, why you, have a, you have a question? Yeah, brother. I can you please? Uh, okay, so can we, before, before you move to your question, can you tell everybody that you have no clue what you're talking about? I have clues, bro. I told you that that was the authentic Quran. No, it wasn't. And we just told all you. Quran, all Quran are authentic. We just told you. Muslim you, scholars. You, listen, listen, Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. You, Abdul. You, doctor, okay, doc okay. there's a doctor, Turkish doctor. Two Turkish yeah, doctors. Okay. They had access yeah. to the top copy manuscript. They are Turkish people, right? They are Turkish okay. doctors. They had okay. access to the top copy manuscript. When they started okay. to read it, when they started to study it, they found out, hey, this is not Uthmanic. It's not complete. So I yeah. asked you to show me another manuscript, to mention another manuscript that it's complete and it's Uthmanic. And you failed, you know. I don't wait, want to waste my time. I have my time is really precious because we don't we can't yeah, be okay, live. I, I understand time, right? your time is really precious, but why don't you answer my question? Why you are okay? Always before we go English there, climate. before we go there, in, in, can you can you tell everybody? Yourself, when we, uh, okay, okay, when wait, go, wait, yeah, wait, sure. wait, 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 okay. wait, wait. Before we go there, can you tell everybody that you have no clue about any manuscript? No, I have clues. You, 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 you okay, give me, you don't, okay, give me, okay, give me, give me. Give me your clues. I told I told you that the authentic authentic yes. Quran, authentic which you want, yes. is in Turkey in Istanbul. No, it's not. We just told you and it's all not. Quran's are authentic. No, 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 no. It's not not get lost. Get lost, man. Who are you, man? Do we have any ustaz? Do we have any Imam? Don't waste my time, man. No, no, uh, Kiko, it's not two, two Jep, it's only two folios. Basically two pages. Not even a complete chapter, man. How many different Arab Qurans are there? Well, there are at least 32 different Qurans that we found. And the numbers are growing. 32 different Quranic 
books. 32 different Arabic Qurans. Don't call me, Abdul. Don't call me. Don't call me. Go do some research. Don't do it on my live show. Stop calling. Call me another time, Abdul. Is there something wrong with you? Call me another time. When you have done research, call me back. You'll find out that the top copy manuscript is not complete. It's not authentic. And actually, it has many variations. Many variations. Don't do research on my live show. Go ask Prophet Google and Prophet Google will answer you. Do you have any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to call me? Don't send me kids, man. Yeah, you see guys, I was kicked from the Ask, uh, ask uh, Islam or something. They kicked me out. <laughs> they kicked me out for asking a sincere question. I mean, you bear witness and you call yourself a witness. A witness of what? Did you see Allah with your own eyes when you say Ashadu? I bear witness, I testify. You see? Their scholars cannot answer questions, man. It was fun. <laughs> Guys, did you like that fun? It was a fun time, right? On that website. <laughs> RC, need to le learn how to play chess? Well, what do you think I'm doing now? <laughs> If this is not chess, then I don't know the meaning of chess. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Christian who wants to call? We will allow you as Christian to call if you like. Do we have any Christian? Who wants to call us? Well, MT Peng, sorry if I cannot uh, satisfy your uh, needs, man. Uh, Suhail Rahman, you claim, Suhail, Suhail, you claim that you know about the top copy manuscript. You, you don't know, you just Googled it. And everybody saw it and heard it you were googling <laughs> you see you have knowledge you have no knowledge about it did you do research about the top manuscript no you don't so don't say i do you're lying right so just say if you're gonna going to call me back say rob christian yes i just googled it be honest man say i just googled it i have no clue about the top manuscript top copy manuscript you have no clue that it contains many variations. You don't have any clue that it's not Othmanic. It's not complete. Uh, uh, Slavophone, I'm as old as Muhammad when he split Aisha into two. Look how old I am. Man. I have a big beard. You know, I'm really white like Muhammad. My armpits are white. You know, I'm very white Arab. That's how I look like. Very white. Brother, I don't have any lights in my house. I'm, give, I'm the source of light in my house. Yeah, I'm very white, man. Like Muhammad, I give light. In the night, my, you know, my wife, my wife always asks me, Rob, Rob Christian, make sure to put the blanket on, on your complete body. Because she cannot sleep. I, I'm so white, man. My wife cannot sleep, man. I'm, I'm a, I am as white as Muhammad. All Arabs are white. Brother. This is why we are so, uh, you know, I mean the Muslims. They are so racist. They, have, they own black slaves. Muhammad owned black slaves. You know. let's, let's see. Hello, Suhail. Hello, hello, brother. Hi, brother. Why, do, why, you, why you cut my car? Because, again, because again. you make false claims, my friend. I am asking you about no, the top manuscript. No, brother, you say you say you did research. You're lying. Come on, man. Be honest. You didn't do research. You just googled it. What happened, brother? Brother? Oh, brother. Why did you hang up, brother? He hang up.
Can you hang up? Let me call him back. Hey, brother. Hello, brother. Hey, hey. Uh, my friend, uh, yeah. you, you, you are showing me your face. Why are you showing my face? You, you, your face is seen. You want to you show your face to everybody? Yes, but okay. firstly, you have to show yours. Well, I, I don't have a face. Oh, I'm faceless. You don't have a face. No, I, I'm oh, faceless, bro. So you are, so you are an imaginary man. Yeah, I'm, 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 uh, I'm faceless, man. Uh, listen, listen, uh, my friend, listen. Okay. Forget okay. about the top yep. money. Forget about the top copy manuscript. Forget about it. I have a question. Okay, okay. I have a question, and then you yeah. and I will yeah, allow yeah, you to yeah, ask. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yes. If uh, let let me let me ask you this question. If you you are you married? Are you married? Uh, yeah. Yes, I am married. Okay. Let's say let's say I um, I walk on the street, and you yeah. are you are with your wife walking on the street, and I see your wife. Yes. I see your wife. Okay. And I fall in love with your wife. Would you divorce your no. wife and give her to me? No. No. Why should I? Well, uh, because your prophet did that. Your prophet. No. You, uh, yes. Well, your prophet. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. No, you your are, prophet. Your no, prophet, no. according to chapter thirty-three, ayah fifty, when he lies his eyes on a married woman, her husband must divorce her. I'm talking about a Muslim man. He must divorce her and give her to Muhammad. No, no, no. It's, Why it's no, not no, no. mentioned. It. Yes, it's no, it no. is. Okay, let us go there. No, no, no. You are, you are, let you us are go taking there. it out of context. No, 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 no. no, no, no. You, you Can you taking, see the screen? You are yes. taking no, it out no, of context. No, Habibi, no, 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 no. Brother, no, no. No, no, no. Come on, brother. We are brother. We are here. Brother, listen, 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 brother. Listen, brother. Listen. We are not playing games. We are here about the truth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let us go. Can you see the screen? So okay. Can you see okay, why you talk? I have a question. I have a question little for you. Why you talk about Islam every time and when uh, uh, someone try to question on Christianity and you just uh, uh, put the call off and start? You never answer any question, any of my question about. I will ask you a question. Let us finish this question. This is my live show. You're my guest. This is yes. my live show. We'll, we'll answer your question, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. here this is chapter. Okay. Do you see the screen? Do you see the screen, my brother? Do you see the screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yes. this is the screen. Okay, O Prophet, this is chapter 33, ayah 50. O Prophet, verily we have allowed unto thee thy wives unto whom thou hast given their hires, and also those whom ever they right hand oath of those whom ever Allah hath given thee as spoils. This is, talking, this is talking about sex slave, okay? Let me continue. Of war, right? So, Allah made halal for you sex slaves. And the daughters of the paternal okay. uncle and the daughters of thy paternal aunts and the daughters of thy maternal yeah. uncle and the daughters of thy maternal yeah. aunts who migrated with thee yeah. and any believing women yeah. now read with me any believing yeah. woman when she offered herself yeah. unto the prophet if the, the prophet desires to wed her it's halal for him you see it any believing woman okay so when you when, so, when, so, so let I, me finish little, okay let me finish little. okay let me finish okay. uh, my my thing okay. and then i will allow you okay so according to this ayah if muhammad will be alive here right here and he sees you yes. and your wife walking on the street and he sees your wife and he yes. and his eyes fall in yeah, love yeah, yeah, yeah. his heart fall in love turn, yeah, yeah. Turn, yeah. Turn, yeah okay no. he falls okay, in okay, love okay. with your wife that so, means you so, have to so divorce I, her and I, give it to muhammad I, I uh, is that, do you think okay. this is a prophet of God? Dick. Is this a prophet of God <laughs> or a lustful man? Firstly, where the, the Quran which you have, uh, you are taking from repair, reference, how you can explain to you viewers that it is authentic? The Quran is not authentic. No, you you yourself told before me that. Uh, uh, there, there is no authentic Quran, and the Quran in itself is yes. uh, no, not complete. And yes. how can uh, so now you are telling, uh, taking references from Quran and uh, telling the viewer, viewers that Prophet tell to uh, tell this extra? I, I don't understand. Right. My friend. What do you mean? Can you be uh, guys? Do you understand? I don't understand him. What do you mean, my friend? What do you mean? I didn't catch your. Uh... Okay, okay. 
My friend, I'm I, talking I about you. I'm talking about your prophet. Is this a pro okay. of, prophet of God or is this simply a man who, when he sees any woman, he can have her for sex? Even your married wife, your wife, he no, can it's, he it's can take not, her from you. Not, he can take her from you. You have to divorce. Her. Yes, yes, it's in front of you. Don't lie. No, 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 don't lie. No, no, it's it's no, in front. No, no, don't lie. No, no, no. Don't lie. Yeah. Don't lie. It's in front you, of you. It's you yourself trying to make verses and then uh, get lost. Yeah, don't waste my time. It's in front of you. You want me to go to the tafsir? The tafsir make it make it even more. Don't call me, Abdul. St don't call me. Stop calling me, man. Stop wasting my time, man. Stop wasting my time. Stop wasting my time. Guys, how many times did we already give him a chance? This is Daif Aya, brother. This Aya is Daif, brother. Uh, the ayah of Allah is, da is da'if, brother. The ayah of Allah is da'if, brother. Right? It clearly says, I don't even need to go to tafsir, but I can go to tafsir. Any believing woman, when she offered herself unto the Prophet, if the Prophet desired to wed her, purely for thee. Right? Above the rest of the believer. Right? Muhammad had no limitation. This was only for Muhammad. Right? There is no blame on duty. Allah is allowing Muhammad to do so. Allah is the one who is causing Muhammad, who is giving Muhammad permission to marry any woman that Muhammad wants, even married women, even married women are okay for Muhammad. So let us go for example, to Zayd ibn Tha uh, sorry, Zayd, the son of Muhammad. Zayd, the son of Muhammad. Muhammad, when he wanted to go to see his son, right? When Muhammad wanted to go to see his son, Zayd, the son of Muhammad, he went to his house. Zayd was not there. I mean, Muhammad, you are knocking on the door. Zayd, Zayd, Zayd is not there. Why are you entering the house? Isn't it Aib? Isn't it? shameful to enter a man's house while his the, the the owner of the house the male is not at home anyway so muhammad went inside and what did he see he see the naked body of his wife who zainab bin tajash zainab the daughter of the donkey that's the the translation of her name zainab bin tajash so muhammad looks at her body she's naked Maybe she, she just took a shower. So he sees her naked. And you know what he says? Subhan. Subhan. Qallib al -qulub. Glory to the one who turns hard. So he blames Allah for falling in love with the naked body of his daughter-in-law. Basically his daughter. She's his daughter. Right? And this is a prophet of God blaming Allah. He's blaming Allah to fall in love with Zainab, his daughter. Is this a man of God blaming his Allah, always looking for excuses, blaming Allah for his lustful desires, for his own sin? This is a sin to fall in love with your own daughter, man. She's, the da she's your daughter-in-law. That means she's your daughter, man. Let me just give you an example, a very good example. Muslims cannot deny this. Muhammad actually took the wife of his adopted son. Not only that, guys, are you with me? Not only that, not only that, Muhammad, Muhammad, when Zayd, when Zayd divorced his wife, you know what Muhammad did, guys? You know, the, this so-called prophet who has no shame, he even insulted his son. You know what he did? He commanded his son Zayd, to go ask for Zainab her hand. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? First, he steals his wife and then he asked his son. He's insulting him, asking him to go and ask for the hand of Zainab to become the wife of his father. Man. Man, oh man. You call this a prophet of God?
You know what God of the Bible would do, Abdul? You know what the God of the Bible would do? He would punish Muhammad like he punished King David. God of the Bible will not allow such sins, filthy sins. He will punish anyone who does these things. He punished King David. He punished Solomon. Right? He punished them. But Allah is the one causing this to happen. Allah is the one who, who is causing Muhammad to do so. And he's giving him permission to do so. Right? When Zayd didn't have anything to do with her anymore, he divorced her, we gave her to you, Muhammad. Right? Yeah, this is why Allah cut off the aorta of Muhammad, I think, right? Because Muhammad said, I feel that my aorta is being cut off. And Allah cut off his aorta. Man. Suhail, Suhail, Rahman. This you are saying, and I quote, this man is himself making reference and then take them out of context. How am I taking them out of context, my friend? How? How am I taking this out of context? We just explained to you, we explained to you how Muhammad fell in love with the naked body, with the body of his daughter, Zainab. And he said, Allah made me fall in love with her. Subhan! Muqallib al-Qulub. Subhan Muqallib al-Qulub. Glory to Allah who turns hearts. He blamed Allah for falling in love with the naked body of his own daughter. How am I taking it out of context, Abdul? Out of context. Lord of mercy, man. You see how he's, without any shame, he's calling me a liar? Do you have any shame, Abdul? I mean, do you have any shame? How am I taking this out of context? Yes, yeah, Suhail. You know what, 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 your, what your story is? You are actually a victim of this Arabic cult. You are not an Arab. You sound like an... Um, I think you're from India, right? You sound like a guy from India. You have been a victim all your life of this cult. And you want to justify the nasty behavior of your prophet. Stop suhailing around, yeah, suhail. <laughs> That's a good one. Abdul you're funny, bro. You're killing me, bro. Brother? Yes, brother. Why are you saying Ashhadu? Why are you bearing a false witness? You call yourself a witness, but you are a false witness. You didn't see Allah. You didn't see Muhammad with your own eyes. How do you dare to say Ashhadu? I bear witness. I testify. That's a false testimony that's a false witness so me so if you are in court under oath the judge will take you from your neck he will grab you by the neck and he will put you in jail he will put you in jail because you're a false witness abdul stop suhailing me around right stop suhailing me around yeah <laughs> that's a good one Ashadu, how can you say Ashadu? How can you say I bear witness without seeing, without hearing? What kind of false testimony is that, man? The Shahada is a false testimony. Rory, thank you for your donation. Uh, Rory saying in the super chat, when Christian critic Islam, Muslims will always say they, the Christians, are liars. Yeah, my friend, this is the story of my life. And by the way, thank you again for your donation. God bless you. God bless your family. A random uh, saying, Rob, can you debate Sam Shimon? Why would I want to debate a brother in Christ? <laughs> no. Why? <laughs> anyway. Um, do we have any Muslim? Maybe we have a Christian this time. Maybe a Christian wants to call. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. We allow you to call today, guys. Don't say, Rob Christian, you are not allowing Christians to call. Don't you dare to say that. 
<laughs> nah, it's okay, guys. If you want to call me, call me. Today you get a free ticket, my friend. I believe the next line. Yes. Well, the thing is, uh, you know, we don't bear such false testimony as Christians. We say we believe. And Jesus said, blessed are those who did not see and believed. So we are actually the blessed ones. We didn't see. We will never say we saw Jesus. We didn't see him. Yes, the ones who were there saw him and they died for him. And many enemies wrote about him, like Josephus, like Tacitus. Right? But we don't make a false testimony like you Muslims. Shahada is a false testimony. It's a lie. Even your Shahada is a lie, man. Islam is built upon the lies. Islam is the basic foundations are lies. Shahada is one of the five pillars, guys. The Shahada is one of the five pillars of Islam. So if the Shahada crumbles, one of the pillars crumbles, Islam falls down. Bam! Right? Khadija, Khadija, call me, Khadija. Khadija, call me. You can call me, right? Talk in chat and text is cheap. We have a, I think, a Christian who's calling. Let's see. Hello? Wow, how you doing? Hey, my friend. Welcome. You're a Christian, all right? Yeah, I'm Christian. Uh, welcome, my used friend. To come into, you used to come into my room in Pell Talk. I'm Kuferphobia. Oh, how are you, my friend? I hope you're doing okay. I'm, do I'm doing great, man. I'm trying to... Trying to do the same thing you've been doing. I just love watching uh, and listening to you. And, uh, you know, it, it always amazes me when Muslims bring up the Birmingham, yeah. like it's an actual manuscript. It's two leaves with three surahs. <laughs> it's, it's, not even a chap it's not even a chapter. It's just two pages, right? Yeah. yeah. And if you look at the carbon dating, it's 568 to 645. Yeah. Muhammad wasn't even born until 570. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the skin, right? The skin, you need to understand that the skin uh, back in those yeah. days was really uh, difficult to make, uh, you know, to, to write something on it. So it was really expensive stuff. So that's why it, it predates Muhammad himself. But, right. but right. when you look at the text, it contained dots, right? You see the dots in the text. Dots did not appear, guys, for the people who are listening, are you with me? The dots did not appear in any Arabic text until the late 9th century in the beginning of the 10th century so that's more than 200 years after muhammad <laughs> right and here's a funny thing because i've been debating muslims for about i don't know five years over on on facebook until i can't do it anymore because yeah. every time I, I i debate them i get thrown in jail uh but the thing is, is that Muslims used to tell me that not a single dot had been changed or added yeah, to the that's original a good one, manuscripts. Right? <laughs> but how is that true when, like you said, the diacritical markings didn't exist for yeah. 200 years? Yeah. Let me let me so, put it on the screen, my friend, so you can explain it better to the audience. Just a second. Bear with me, my friend. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know, it's much easier to talk uh, when you see it on the screen right so this is this is what you're talking about and please continue my friend continue don't stop yeah uh, you, you see on you see the screen bro you see the screen no i'm, I'm not seeing oh, the screen don't, okay yeah it's you on youtube on, yeah it's on, on youtube yeah, yeah. I, i'm on youtube oh, yeah. hold on a second yeah you can I, open I, youtube and mute mute youtube so you can explain okay. it too i mean uh, it's your show now my friend <laughs> Well, thank you. Okay, let me see. It's yours, bro. Here. Here's the screen, as you see. You see, uh, like the brothers explaining, right? There was no dots. Here, this is dot. This is new stuff, right? This is how they started to add dots and vowels in the Arabic text. This is an old Quran. There is no dot. There is no tashkil. By the way, this is not... 7th century, by the way. This is later than 7th century. So, 
Do you see the text, my friend? Do you see the screen, my friend? No, I'm, I'm still seeing uh, one of the verses. Uh, oh, chapter yeah. it, it takes maybe time. You need to refresh. Okay. Yeah, not a problem. But, the, you know, but, but that's one of the problems is that all of their uh, earlier manuscripts, yeah. the so-called most important ones, the Samarkand, the Topkapi, the Petropolitan, the Mali, yeah. they never had any diacritical marks. So my question to Muslims is, because you know how, and I don't know Arabic, and that's yeah. one of the things that Muslims use against me. Yeah. But I do have, have a lot of friends that are Arabic speakers. Uh, is that if you put a dot over... Yeah, if you, uh, yeah, you can't see the screen, my friend, but I'm showing it on the screen. Uh, you see uh, the screen says, uh, we are showing the words that are without dots. So when you put a dot underneath, let's say here, it becomes a B. Right? It becomes a B. A dot on top, it becomes an N. Two dots on top, it becomes a T. Two dots underneath, it becomes an E. <laughs> so, as the screen says, the dots and the vowels were added at least 200 years after the so-called Uthmani Quran. That does not exist anyway. Go ahead. Right, right, no. right. No, no, I, I agree with you. I, I just don't understand why. I, I'm not seeing the screen. For me, my screen is still stuck. I see the chat going, mm. but I'm not seeing this. It's still stuck on, on Surah 33, but that's mm. okay. I, I mean, I, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. You've seen it before, now, right? Let me ask you a question because I've asked this a couple of times. Yes, I'm right. not an Arabic speaker, so Muslims are always telling me that I can't debate uh, about the Quran because I can't read Arabic. Mm -hmm. What do you say to people like me about that? I, to me, it, it's a cop out <laughs> because. Well, you need to ask them why. What's what's the reason? What 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 is their reason when they say that? Oh, they they tell me that. I need to uh, read it in Arabic because, you know, the translations, and I agree, most of the translations are baloney. Yeah, of course. They, yeah. You know, so I have a couple literal translations. Yeah, but you um, know, you know, uh, you should use the Osama Dakduk one. Osama Dakduk is not uh, a, the best translation, but it's much, much better than uh, any Muslim translation for the Quran. So if you want right. uh, to, if you want it as close as possible, get the Osama Dagduk one. That's a Christian. He's a Christian brother, an Arabic speaker who translated the Quran. You can find it online. Oh, I have his. I have 16 copies of the Quran. I have four Arabic. <laughs> okay. I have the Hafs, the Warsh, the, the Duri, yeah. and the Kulan. And then I also have uh, 12 uh, different uh, translations and Osama I, I'm well aware of Osama I, I like yeah. to watch his stuff yeah because he's from the States uh, but I'm waiting for Christian princes to come out with his version yes he's working on yeah but you know he's he's really busy he's uh, he's writing a lot of books uh, he's doing a lot of live shows so it takes time right my friend okay yeah. uh, I'm actually writing a book it, it's on the uh, crazy hadiths that you read yeah you know, like the one where Moses runs after the rock, you know, yeah. butt naked, and so forth. So anyway, I just wanted to say hi. Listen, drop by. I'm back on Pell Talk. I do have a Discord server. All uh, right. I go to the server that uh, Tippy Bear runs. Yeah, I'm I'm on her server too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, hey, listen. Uh, God bless you. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you for calling uh, in, my like friend. God bless you too. You can drop by uh, my room anytime. Thanks, my friend. Thank All you for right. calling and keep up uh, doing the good work, my friend. Sure, we got to keep doing it. We got to educate these people, not just yeah. the Muslims, but the non-Muslims. Yeah, that's of a scary. Yes, yes, exactly. All right, man. God bless. You. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. See you. Okay. Bye bye. So you see, guys, what the brother was talking about is when you look at the. Uh, the old Qurans that had no dots, no tashkil, right? No tanqid, so no vowels, no dots. It looked like this. Try, guys, bear with me. Are you, are you with me, guys? Give me one if you can hear me. Try to read this without dots, without tashkil. Good luck. Good luck in reading this. Right? You cannot read this. You cannot read this without dots. Without the shkil.
it's impossible to read this right so Muslims 200 years later in the late 9th century in the beginning of the 10th century when they completed the dots adding the dots to the Quran adding the shkil vowels to the Quran it became readable right it became readable so it used to look like this how are you going to read this <laughs> do you see and as we showed you one word without dots and tashkil can have as you see here at least six meanings do you see it a dot underneath here here like this it becomes a b on top when you put the dot on top it becomes an n a dot here underneath becomes a b a two dots on top becomes a t same for this three dots it becomes totally different so this is a disaster guys it's a disaster to read without dots without any vowels well, vowels we can read without vowels we can read but without dots it can have many meanings just one word here's another example two dots it's a t here under one dot it's a b two dots it becomes an e one dot an n this one here this letter one dot underneath it becomes a b two dots it becomes a t one dot it becomes an n and so on and so on and so on you see the problem guys that's what the brother was talking about. Hello? Hello, Habibi. Hey, Habibi, hello. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. I have nothing specially to say. I call you because I love you. <laughs> I love you and too, my friend. Welcome. For company. Hello. What do you want to share with us, my friend? Nothing specially, my friend. <laughs> I'm Armenian and I'm Christian. Yes. And welcome. Chichosis, Chichosis, Hanshmisis. Oh, shout love, yes, shout love. Hi, my friend. How are you? Go ahead. Good, good. <laughs> and uh, you know Armenian history. Yeah, uh, I, I, I know, I know a couple of words. Yeah, I know, I know everything about the Armenian history. Yes. Mm. And, and I know what happened in 1915. I know. And uh, um, March. Much, much. Um, we have a lot of uh, fight against the Muslims. Yeah, 1915. Yeah. I know what happened in Turkey in 1915. Yes. I know what they did to you. I know what they did to the mm. Assyrians there. They commit a horrible the genocide Greeks, in the name of Islam. Assyrians, Armenians, yes. Yeah, they, it was a and huge genocide, yes. And still till today, the government of Turkey is denying it. The filthy scumbags. But this is not a political act. This I know. Is Islamic act, yes, you know? this is Islamic. Yeah, of course. Mm. Yeah, of course. This is the holy jihad. Yeah, they wanted to get of all the Christians in Turkey. I know, bro. I know. Mm. I feel it. And you are an ex-Muslim or what? No, I. I think I'm too smart to be an ex-Muslim. You are too smart, like Christian <laughs> <laughs> No, I. I have too much respect for my brains to be one second in Islam. For yourself and your family. Yeah, of course, my friend. Mm. Okay, my friend. I, I'm at work. I have customers. I, I All need right. to go. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. God bless Bye. you, my friend. See you. Bye. God bless. All right, guys. Um, we started with the contradictions uh, of Muhammad in the Quran and the Hadith, and we end up with this. <laughs> yeah. I think today was a good day, uh, guys. I think today was a good day. Do you think? Don't you think? Today was a good day. God is good. We had a wonderful teaching. Thanks to the Lord. Yeah, the Armenians, guys, they, uh, together with the Assyrians, Christians, right? All of them are Christians, Trinitarians. They were getting butchered. They killed the man, they took the women. You know, as sex slaves and, they, you know, what else is new? This happened in 1915 in Turkey, guys. They wanted to annihilate all the Christians. Right? Yeah, they raped the women. And, yeah. 
Thank you guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your donations. God bless you. God bless your families. Please don't forget to subscribe. Make sure to subscribe. Smash that like button and click on the notification bell to receive notifications when we go live. So today we showed you what kind of liar Muhammad is. He was busting himself over and over. He was contradicting himself over and over in his yellow pages called the Quran and the Hadith because he's nothing but a scammer, a liar, a deceiver, certainly not a man of God. Thank you for watching. God bless your families. Muslims, you need to wake up. Please come back home. Come back to Jesus your Lord and Savior. Every knee will bow and proclaim that Jesus is Lord. Muhammad is a liar. Islam is a man-made religion. A sex death cult. Please come back home, Muslims. Thank you for watching, guys. Lord willing, we will see each other again in an amazing live show like today.